it has happened. What, you ask? Ed becomes not the Riddler. Hell yes, bitch. Hello, Yinzuko. Are you going to be at the beginning of all my videos? Are you going to be at the beginning of all my videos, Zuko? Yes, you are. Season 2, episode 7, Butch and Oswald end up finding out where Oswald's mom is, where Theo Galvan had been keeping her. Tabby ends up stabbing her in the back. She dies in Oswald's arm. Jim finds out that Theo is the one who broke Jerome, Barbara, and the rest of the maniacs out of Arkham and is telling them to kill all these people. As double personalities sort of become one in a way that is not quite the Riddler. He doesn't have the name or anything yet, and he is beginning to hashtag crime. I love you. Yeah. Okay, go see Zuzu. The season two episode eight is called Tonight's the Night. Theo Gallivan tells Barbara that she can kill Jim now because she's been raring to go for a good while now. Makes sense. Jim's a fucking asshole. Ed is hiding Kristen's body. <laughs> Jesus Christ, in the woods. Uh, where Oswald is hiding. Oswald is hiding there because again, uh, Theo Galvin killed his mom, horribly injured him, yada yada yada. Oswald has lost control of the mafia because Theo is now the mayor. He needs help. And Ed's like, well, shit. Guess I'll help. You're hot. Jim is still trying to find proof that Theo Gallivan is in fact still a piece of garbage. Episode 9 is called A Bitter Pill to Swallow. Ed has taken Oswald back to his shitty ass studio apartment. Oh my god, they were roommates. He's helping him get better and Oswald's like, I kind of want to leave. You're kind of weird. <laughs> And it's like, you can't leave because Theo Galavan wants you dead. Jim also wants you dead, and Oswald's like, ah, oh, fuck, Jim wants me dead, but I am in love with him. <laughs> and Ed and Oswald bond by killing a man together. Relationship goals. Ed uh, plays the keyboard and sings a song for him. Ha! Gay! Season 2, episode 10 is called The Son of Gotham. It's about Bruce and more explaining on why Theo Galavan wants to kill Bruce. So he kidnaps Bruce. So Bruce is almost killed by Theo Galavan. While Ed is at work, um, Oswald calls <laughs> in the best moment of the entire fucking series. Yes. Where is the spicy mustard? I better not have finished it. Never mind. Lee um, asks if the person he's on the phone with is um, Kristen because Kristen's been disappeared. She's disappeared a little while ago and Lee was friends with her. Um, and Ed's like, nope, uh, Kristen actually uh, ran away with uh, Officer Doherty. She ran away with Tom. And Lee's like, wasn't well, he um, an abusive asshole? And Ed's like, well, <laughs> love is strange. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> Jim is now a wanted criminal because Theo Gallivan is the mayor and he knows that Jim knows that he's an asshole and he is the one who created the maniacs. Oswald ends up saving him from Theo Gallivan in a series of events that I don't find. What matters is that Oswald gets to the place where Jim is. Jim is injured, dying, and Oswald's like, well, I'll take you back to Ed's shitty studio apartment. Ed is the jealous boyfriend who's like, why the fuck did you bring your ex here? Should've just let him rot. I wholeheartedly agree with that sentence. Anne is playing the keyboard in Oswald singing, and Jim wakes up in Ed's bed, and he's like, what the fuck is going on? And Ed's just like, oh, hey, what up, dude? Oswald convinces Jim to help him kill Theo Gallivan, and that is what they do. They go and they kill Theo Gallivan. Uh, Theo's body is found by the people at Indian Hill. Yet again, someone else has found another dead body, and they're like, well, 
Hugo Strange, Doctor Strange will not Benedict fucking Cumberbatch. Fuck you. We want to experiment on this man. Mr. Freeze. It's Victor Freis, but the way it's spelled is it's spelled like french fries. So I always say Victor Fries because I think it's funny. He is pronounced Victor Freis. Uh, he has a tragic backstory. Ends up uh, going to Indian Hill. <laughs> Everyone's just fucking going to Indian Hill. Both Jim and Oswald lie to the police about who killed Theo, and Oswald ends up going to prison for it. Oswald's like, I killed Theo with no help from Jim, because Oswald is a dumb gay bitch who is fucking in love with Jim. Person who is now in charge of the mafia. Now that Theo Galvan is dead and Oswald is in prison is Butch, Oswald's um, real buff assistant, dude. And by buff assistant, I don't mean himbo. I just mean he is a large man. Butch is real head, okay? He is a heterosexual, red-blooded, American heterosexual man. I think I got that wrong. I said Oswald went to Blackgate. I think he actually goes to Arkham. Fucking freezing. Uh, Doctor Strange. Basically getting Oswald to reintegrate into society through horrific psychic driving and unorthodox methods of psychiatry that, um end up making him just complacent and overly kind to everyone. <laughs> Season 2 episode 14 is called This Ball of Mud and Madness. There's some backstory. Uh, Bruce ends up finding out who the man who killed his parents is. Yada yada yada. Um, I don't care about it. Um, Lee asks Jim to investigate Miss Kringle's disappearance. Ed freaks out and he's like, fuck, well, you know what? I'm gonna outsmart Jim. I'm smarter than him anyway. I am a fucking genius. Plans out what he's gonna do to sabotage Jim, finding out that he killed Miss Kringle, even though Jim couldn't give less of a fuck, okay? He does not give one shit. He doesn't give one single goddamn shit about Kristen Kringle. Okay, he does not care. He has nothing on Ed. He has no evidence at all because he doesn't give a fuck. But Ed, however, thinks that Jim is playing mind games with him. So he plans around the plan that Jim doesn't fucking have. And <laughs> it's so fucking dumb because it's like, Ed, just stop. Not everyone is planning around the plans that you plan around their plans because they planned around your plan that you're planning around their plan. Not everyone has as many plans. Stop it. Hugo Strange releases Oswald from Arkham Asylum, gives him a certificate, declaring him officially sane. He's not really sane, he's just broken. <laughs> Episode 15 is called Mad Grey Dawn. Oswald goes to his mother's grave and ends up uh, randomly seeing his dad. Um, he had no idea this was his dad, but they figured out and he... Oh, um, his name is Elijah Van Dahl. Fun fact, the guy who plays Elijah Van Dahl, who is Oswald's dad in this, also played the Penguin's dad in Batman Returns. So he's not only Danny DeVito's father, but also Robin Lord Taylor's father. Wow, the father of two iconic penguins. Fucking legend. Elijah Van Dahl is like, you come to my mansion, uh, we can get you a nice place to live. Because he didn't know him before. His mom had never mentioned him, etc. There's a backstory there, but I don't want to talk about it. I don't care. So Ed uh, begins to go off his goddamn rocker, planning around the plan to sabotage Jim and frame him for murder and bombings and art heists and all of this stuff. And it works. Uh, Jim is, in fact, arrested because of Ed. 10 out of 10. He's sent to Blackgate. Um, Oh, I'm sorry, this is in season 2, episode 16. Prisoners is what it's called. Jim is sent to Blackgate because he's found guilty of murdering Theo Gallivan, murdering this other cop that Ed actually killed, um, art heist. Oswald meets his step family, his stepmother, and his stepbrother and sister, who are all fucking assholes who want to kill Elijah Van Dahl and take his money and mansion, etc. Um, uh, Oswald finds this out and goes, pretty much goes back to normal actually, and kills, um, I believe her name is Sasha, the stepmother, and there's, or no, the stepsister is Sasha. Sasha and Charles are the stepbrother and sister. I can't remember. 
what the stepmother's name is. Yeah, I can't remember. Oh, he kills them because they had killed Elijah. They had just poisoned him like a few, uh, like a week ago. They'd poisoned Elijah Vandal and Oswald was like, fuck you, that was my dad. Um, yeah, also in this episode or in the last episode or something like that, Jim and Lee break up because Jim's like, you need to leave because now I'm in prison, move on with your life. And Lee's like, well, fuck, well, I'm pregnant. Um, but it doesn't matter because she miscarries. Next episode is season two, episode 17, in which Jim has escaped from prison and is now fleeing from the law. He goes to Ed for help. But Jim figures out that Ed framed him. Ed knew that Jim would figure this out um, because the chair Jim was sitting in um, had this electric, it was like an electric chair that was attached to the wiring. I don't know, I'm not a fucking engineer. I used to be a chemistry major and now I'm fucking not. Shut, shut the fuck up. Whatever, Jim passes out. <laughs> So Ed takes him to the woods. Jim wakes up and Ed ends up going to Arkham Asylum. He's taken there, he's taken to Arkham because he has a psychotic break and admits everything he did to Jim in the presence of a bunch of hidden police officers. At the end of this episode, we find out that uh, Professor Strange has successfully resurrected the Ogyalovan from the dead. Ed's in Arkham, uh, we know this already. Um, he finds out about Doctor Strange's uh, secret stuff at, under Arkham, that's Indian Hill. He finds out about this and is like, well, fuck, I gotta get the fuck out. Jim is suspicious of Professor Strange, so he goes to Arkham Asylum to investigate Strange. Bridget has been resurrected and she has no memories. Bridget is still at Arkham, um, but Selina has gone to Arkham because she heard for, through the grapevine that um, Professor Strange had taken Bridget there and she's like, oh my god, she might still be alive. So she goes to try and find her and Bridget has no memories of her, but Selina is still trying to get through to her. Bruce and Lucius Fox have also gotten wind of the weird shit going on at Indian Hill, and they go there, they end up getting kidnapped. Ed is put in charge of questioning them about how much they know about Indian Hill. Ed knows about Indian Hill and Hugo Strange, and he's like, hey, H Hugo, my man. Listen, I'll work for you, I'll do like whatever, as long as you do not experiment on me. <laughs> and Hugo Strange is like, yeah, all right. Questioning them about how much they actually know about the corruption of Wayne Enterprises, who is in charge of Wayne Enterprises. Basically, Doctor Strange wants to know if they know about the Court of Owls, which is this secret group of high society people who control everything and wear owl masks. They don't know anything about this yet. I just spoiled some big ass shit. I'm sorry. Lucius and Bruce are allowed to go because they don't know anything about the Court of Owls. Ed's like, God damn it, I wanted to commit some murders. <laughs> Shit, this is season two, episode 22, Transference. Did I already say that? I don't fucking think so. I'm getting real tired real fast. Fish Mooney has been resurrected by Doctor Strange. Um, she is the only one with memories and she also has magic powers and she looks extremely sexy. Next video, I will talk about the first part of season three.